a little light arm work, nothing crazy. Um, just a few sets, few exercises, few sets, you know, something just to get the blood flowing. Always try to start out with uh, isolation exercise first. I really like this machine. It's like um, it's like one of the best ones for getting a really good peak contraction. It it assimilates the preacher curl very well. Um, I like the positioning of it. We don't have a 90 degree angle preacher um, stand here, so this is like the second best thing. It's a really good exercise. I really feel the contractions at the top of the movement. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> Trying to give me some 20s, 20 plus. If I had to guess, I'm thinking I'm around 16, 17. I don't think I'm any more than that. But I'm trying to give me some dubs, but I gotta earn them. I gotta put in some work. It's one of the best ways to do it. I like this machine. I like this machine because of the handles. Most dip machines have you, you have to hold it where your, your thumbs are kind of in front of the, uh, the handles. But it doesn't really place a lot of emphasis on the tricep. So you ended up, even if, uh, even if your handles are not like this, you still have to kind of turn your, your hands so that they face out anyway to get a contraction. Um, or the tricep, but this machine is already have, has handles like that, so all you have to do is push it down. It's really good. I love it. That's where a lot of my arm development comes from in terms of this circumference. Just do hammer curls pretty much. That's like a staple in my arm arsenal. Like a lot of a lot of guys swear religiously by preacher curls and barbell curls, but hammer curls works. Work great for me. So I stick with them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They give me great results, so as long as I'm training, they'll stay in there. Thank you.
Killer pump, trying to chase the pump right now. Since I'm not using a lot of weight, I'm trying to get that blood flowing in the muscle. <sighs> the problem with my tendonitis is not really bothering me. do some overhead um, extensions for the tricep and um, I was suffering from some tendonitis a few months ago kind of preventing me from doing a lot of heavy uh, tricep work which is stupid in the first place for me to even be doing that but you know that's the mentality of a, any bodybuilder that wants to be stronger and bigger got to push themselves and um, I guess one day I was um my poor elbows couldn't take it, so I ended up with a, not a severe case, but a, a case of tendonitis that prevented me from doing certain tricep exercises. But lately I've been able to do the exercises that actually cause the tendonitis, um, I've been able to do them again, so that's what I want to do today. Oh. 